If you've been waiting for a Supreme Court decision about the PD memo, prosecutorial discretion, really specifically the ICE enforcement memo that was issued out last year in April, um, it's here. It arrived here June 23rd, 2023. It was released at 10 a.m. today, uh, Central uh, Eastern Time. So here's the deal. This is what you need to know. Well, why was the case even gone to court in the first place? Texas, along with a couple of the conservative states, sued the White House saying they can't narrow down who they're going to enforce um, arrest, essentially, as immigrants. That they were saying, they you need to go after everyone and arrest everyone, anyone who is undocumented. Obviously, that is not efficient. And, you know, ultimately in court, the legal issue is who has standing to challenge a federal policy like this? Okay, so this is a balance of powers issue. And fortunately, the Supreme Court ruled in favor, eight to one, to say states don't have standing when it's going to challenge this specific type of policy, this enforcement memo. OK, so it's not saying you can't that states can't try to challenge for other federal policies, but this one specifically, they can't. They didn't win. OK, so the White House won today. So did immigrants, because people who have been um, really concerned about whether their case can be reopened, people have removal orders from the past. It's likely going to work out. OK. Now, we can't guarantee, of course, for sure, but we have to wait a few days. July 4th is coming up. So we want to see how the Department of Homeland Security and specifically the White House will um, take action, how they're going to uh, continue resume the processing of these PD requests. They've slowed down significantly because of the Supreme Court case and specifically for those that have a removal order. Now, for those folks who have, uh, you know, married to a U.S. citizen or even a resident, uh, we've been sex successful in those cases when they have an active court case. But now the door is back open. Uh, so hopefully we can help you out. Give us a call if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.